Pocky and Rocky Reshrine just released physically for the Nintendo Switch. I know it previously came out in Japan and digitally, but I wanted to wait to get an actual physical copy to talk about this game and to play it. So originally I was going to work on doing a review, but now I feel like, you know, I'm a little behind on that. And there's some controversy concerning the U.S. version of this game, and I felt like that would be a better discussion. Let's play it, kind of do like my old videos that I would do, like a pass or play type thing. So I'm just going to play it and discuss this controversy going on with this game, um, which I've been looking forward to it. I, I really have a reimagining of a Super Nintendo classic that, you know, the original Super Nintendo game, the cartridge goes for quite a bit of money nowadays. It's up there in a you know couple hundred dollar range. So it's cool to have this like they did with uh, uh, Wild Guns and Ninja Warriors, that kind of stuff. I'm not opposed to bringing classic games back and reimagining them, doing whatever you got to do, remastered, reshrined, whatever, right? Now, I did download the update. There was like an update. It is a cartridge version. Popped it in the first time before I started recording this. Took a minute to download an update. I know what's up with that, what they updated. But yes, there is a controversy here. A couple of them maybe, I guess. But one of them that's that's more major to some people. But I have heard that, okay, this game's a two-player game. Yeah, it's a two-player game. Should be a two-player game. But from what I heard, you have to beat the game to unlock the two-player mode. Which is kind of strange to me. Like, what the hell's the point of that, right? So, what do we have in options, real quick? Display settings, so aspect ratio, scale, scan lines, audio network settings. I guess those go together. All right, no, nothing major here. Controller settings. Okay. All your basics are covered here. Manual? Rather have a physical one, but you know what? This is better than nothing, I guess. But, okay. Oh, wait, I wonder if. Uh, there's been anything altered in here. Yeah. So one of the controversies is censorship. And I don't know that you could necessarily define censorship differently than uh, they took something that already exists and have altered it for any numerous reasons. Maybe regional differences, in, uh, you know, Western ideals are different. Uh the state of the world nowadays uh, to get a certain rating type of thing. And this this goddess here, Amino Azume, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, in the Japanese version and multiple images in the game, her breasts are more exposed. Just the tops of them, you know, which is fairly normal stuff in my opinion. Why did they do that? And does that alter the game any? We're going to play it and see if any like there's anything strange but that's what i've been hearing a lot of uh talk about extra easy so normal and hard extra easy you have to unlock okay so okay they they censored the game they changed a character's graphics in the game mostly in the cutscenes and just that manual from what i have seen like the characters in-game sprites haven't been changed at all from the japanese version so what was the point why did they censor and change one character's image in the game. You know, is it because they think people are offended? Do they they think people are they're going to get bad press when people talk about it or they see it? It already exists in Japan. People have seen the game. I wasn't fully aware of it though because like I said I, I wanted to wait for the game to get a physical copy so I didn't pay attention to anything. Normally these types of games when they have a Japanese release that um also supports English or an Asian release, I'll buy that copy because comes out earlier but i held off on that one uh and just waited for the u.s release you know whatever saved a few bucks versus importing it but now i kind of wish i would have just imported it type of thing but yeah the the graphics it doesn't make sense like do you do you censor it to get a better like lower rating as far as the esrb goes type of thing is that what the point is both the the, the japanese version is rated Cero b which is 12 and up in japan i know you know, Japan versus the U.S., you know, culturally is a little different, obviously, quite a bit different. But um, in the U.S., this game has a ESRB rating of uh, 10 plus, everyone 10 plus. So very similar rating. And I really don't think if the character's breasts were still present, like it's a female character. She has breasts, okay? Like, who's offended by that? It wasn't like graphic or anything. But I don't think if that was present, the the 
ESRB rating would have changed at all. Like, why would it have? Like, I, I don't think there's any cutscenes that really, like, go into it on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there are, and they were changed, and it's it goes further than what I thought. But I, I just don't think, that, like, censorship, I don't think there's any good reason for censorship. Regional differences or not, like, either you... If you don't think you could release it in another region because you would have to like change things, if you have to change it to release it, then don't fucking release it. That that's my take on on censorship. That's my opinion. Your your opinion may be different, and I definitely would love to hear what you guys have to think or say concerning you know censoring stuff like this. Because to me, it just it doesn't make sense. Most people probably won't know, like won't know that the game was changed at all. Like why would they know? You know, unless they're deep into looking into these things. I didn't know until recently. And it doesn't seem like it changes the game other than the cutscenes, the character's design. It, it doesn't, like, change the fundamentals of the gameplay or anything like that. So most people probably wouldn't be bothered if they don't know about it. But there's going to be plenty of people who take issue with the company doing that to begin with and wouldn't want to support them. And that's one thing I want to hear from you guys. Just knowing a company does that or forces it for certain releases uh, is that something where you just don't want to support the company anymore is it not that big a deal you know whatever your opinion is that's fine like we all have different opinions concerning this stuff like i said my opinion is if you feel you need to censor something to release it then don't release it like why would you change the uh, original vision to appease another market money that's why that's the only reason but i don't think this this release like it makes any damn sense to change anything about it like this wasn't going to be a game that three-year-olds four-year-olds five-year-olds seven-year-olds would be like i want to get this game mommy daddy grandpa grandma i want this for christmas pocket rocky reshrine such classic no it's people who grew up with this shit it's gonna be people like 30s 40s maybe 50s i don't freaking know but it's gonna be older people who are aware of the game for the most part, sure, there'll be other people who discover the game. There, there will be. But it's not going to be little ass kids for the most part. And even then, like, I don't think there's anything offensive in the game to begin with. In that regards, and if you feel like the style of game or the story or the content is not appropriate for a child, then don't let your kid freaking play it, you know what I mean? That's it. You govern your kids. To me, it's just kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. To, to be discussing these kind of things in a modern day release, but it seems like it's all more, you know, it's becoming more and more common that this is the kind of stuff that, ha this is a freaking boss? I thought I just fought a damn boss. Like, holy crap. Okay, I'm probably gonna die here, but, oh shit, I gotta figure out the damn roll button. Um, or the dash, whatever it is. But there we go. Yeah, just let me know what your guys' opinion is of this release. So far, the game seems pretty cool, but it is kind of like, why did they they do that? Like, for what reason? I don't think there's any statements out there to explain it. it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. That's a game over right there. Looks like that big cheeseburger looking fool killed me. I don't think he's a cheeseburger, but he kind of looked like a hamburger bun for a second there. But let me know what you guys think. Really do appreciate you guys watching this one. Yeah, a little different of a video. But thank you. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.